Hi guys, as I promised today we're gonna uh, have a little bit lower production value video. It's a smaller tutorial, uh, however that would be uploaded a little bit more often. So do let me know what you think about it. Uh, I managed to pack myself a camera operator so the image not shaky and I don't have to do a selfie. Uh, and we're gonna talk about committing to work and displaying the Google traffic map on your wallpaper, uh, on your desk, on, on your mobile. So uh, on Android 7 you can have it as a lock screen wallpaper, on other Android versions you can have it as a regular um, wallpaper. Uh, how the profile works basically, as you can see on the video somewhere here, um, you can, 30 minutes before your travel to work, before your commute, you're going to have information available uh, to you about the traffic conditions and the same on the way back, uh, so you could look it up. So do let me know about this video, what do you think about this format, whether you prefer it uh, more often and with a lower production value or whether you prefer the proper uh, tutorials as I used to do uh, them this way. Uh, and so we'll start with the tutorial now. So let's have a look at the profiles right now. We have two profiles, they're quite similar. The only difference is the link in the uh, get map return and get map task. The reset uh, exit task is the same on both. And it just reset the wallpaper to whatever image you want uh, using Auto Tools. You can also use the standard task action as well. So uh, let's go over the get map. First of all, we're going to use variable set and uh, URL uh, variable, and we're going to set it to your Google link. Just remember to short the URL as uh, sometimes you will have an issue uh, passing this uh, through API uh, link uh, to the screenshot machine. Um, server. So secondly we're going to use HTTP get uh, to request a picture to be um, compiled and uh, then download it to your um, phone in a location of your choice. I also put the uh, wait task just to give us an extra uh, time for the picture to save and generate thumbnail and so on. Then in order to crop the image we have to first load the image and then crop it and I said uh, it's gonna be 46 I think 46% uh, uh, from the left to crop it and then we can save the copy of it as a new image and this new image is gonna be set uh, using auto tools as a wallpaper you, or you can use just an action task action to set it uh, as a uh, wallpaper I did mine on the uh, lock screen only so that's pretty much it for this task and uh, I'm just going to quickly show you the HTTP get action. So this is where you put your um, API a link. You have to fill in your uh, key here and uh, uh, add the URL um, variable at the end and then set the uh, type to image PNG and out, uh, decide about outful, output file location. So that's the and as you can see when we run the task, you know, select everything, wait for seconds, create uh, the image, copy, and set it as a um, screen lock wallpaper. So let's have a look now. So this is my normal wallpaper, and I'm just gonna enable lock screen. As usual guys, thanks so much for watching. The link for the description and for the written app tutorial, it's in the description of this video. You'll find also a project file and you can follow me uh, on notenoughtech.com. Take care and see you in the next uh, video. Bye. Think about it and whether you prefer it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's oh. so good all the way through. Oh. <laughs>